Welcome back to my writer's room, everyone. I'm Matt Wallace, and thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to come hang out with me here in my lonely little writerly sanctum. I always appreciate it. I really do. Uh, me not being naked on the vlog is brought to you by our t-shirt of the day, which is my really awesome heels and faces going places t-shirt. Um, this is actually... Uh, from the uh, the Marty and Sarah Love Wrestling podcast, and I got it out of this month's uh, Wrestle Crate, which was guest curated by Marty and Sarah of the Marty and Sarah Love Wrestling podcast. I just posted that unboxing video to my wrestling channel, Matt F. and Wallace, on uh, Friday. Go check it out. I had a lot of fun. Really love this t-shirt. Love the Marty and Sarah Love Wrestling podcast. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, all that stuff in the in the description below. So yeah, it is. November 27th, 2017, and as you can see, Ham Shackle Pig has his coffee, and he's rocking an energy bar today. That's what that thing is supposed to be that looks like a robot penis. But yeah, he needs, he needs the extra fuel, man, because it's Monday. Once again, you've rebooted. You have a chance to do it better than you did last week. Better, stronger, faster. Um, and this is an especially crappy Monday because it's the Monday after the Thanksgiving holiday, which many of us, you know, were, I hope we're fortunate enough to have off of our uh, daily grind and spend it with family and friends and remind ourselves what life is actually supposed to be like. That's what life is supposed to be. This shitty week that we're coming back to is what we've allowed the people in power to make life. And you're not wrong. For thinking that that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It makes no sense. We just gotta pretend it does. I talked about that Friday too, but anyway. Uh, but you've made it. You're back. I'm sorry if uh, this today signals the end of your holiday break. Uh, my holiday was... I have no complaints. You know, I spent half of it getting married, which, you know, that's that was fantastic. I spent the other half at home with my wife, Nikki. Uh, she, had the, she had the week off work, which is very rare for her. She is a, uh, you know, she's a 24-7 attorney. It's, it's, she rarely takes more than a few days off. <clears throat> so it was great to have her home. We went and saw uh, Justice League, which was a huge pile of crap. But, you know, that's, everybody knew that was coming. Um, oh, I got to show you something. So check this out. I have the finished, the final product of Gluttony Bay. I know I showed you Gluttony Bay on November uh, 6th or 7th when it was released. But that was an ARC. I finally have the finished book. You can tell because the back is in full of promotional copy for distributors and sellers. This is the actual finished book that you can you can go buy now. And hopefully you have been buying for the last three weeks. After three weeks, I'm finally seeing the finished book. That's really cool. Um, it's been a whole it's been a whole thing. Nikki and I have been moving around a lot the last few months. We you know we moved out of our uh, condo and we moved in with her mother for a couple of months and then our we got a new place and while that was being renovated we lived there then we moved in here so we've just been shuffling around a lot and I was unable to like get my you usually your publisher will send you like a box of these not this book but if you write a book they will send you a book a box of them uh, ahead of your release date so you can have them <laughs> But uh, in this particular instance, it just proved to be very hard to get the to get the book to me. I kept missing it, and uh, it was funny. I actually got a call from my mother, who lives in Phoenix, um, last Thursday or Friday. She said, "I have a package from your publisher," and I thought, "Well, that makes no sense." But that must be my those must be my comps. It must be my copies of Gladney Bay. So go ahead and open it. And she did, and it was actually. Um, it was a wedding package for Nikki and I. It was very sweet. The Tor.com, my publisher, they had sent us like a box of chocolate, which had melted because it's Phoenix and it's a million degrees. And they sent us a commemorative glass and they got us a wedding card and like everybody in the office at Tor.com Publishing had designed it. It's an incredibly sweet thing to do, but it, for some reason, it ended up in Phoenix at my mother's house. I don't even know how that happened. So not having a lot of luck with the mail today. I do want to say thank you to Tor.com Publishing for, for trying and then for the attempt. And, uh, but yeah, so I actually had to get this off Amazon. I was so sick of waiting to see the finished book because since the Send Is Your books are distributed, it's a, di it's a digital model, even though they're in print, it, they're di the distribution is digital. So I can't just like go down to Barnes and Noble and, and get one of these. Like I had to get it off Amazon just to be able to see the finished book. And it was totally worth it. I love, I love these so much. They do such a good job. Like I'm proud of the text that I wrote. Like I'm really, this is actually my favorite Send Is Your book. But just the book itself that they make, I've gotten really lucky to to be part of a great uh, crew of people who love books and understand books and just make awesome books. Like the covers alone, 
uh, Peter Legend is my cover designer. And of course, Irene Gallo, who's the associate publisher of Tor.com Publishing, the best art director in, in science fiction and fantasy publishing period. So that, that doesn't that doesn't suck. Um, oh, also, uh, Christine uh, Foltzer. I, uh, I want to mention her because she does, she works on these covers as well. And I actually did not know that. I, I you know, I'm not in New York. I'm in, I'm on the West Coast. So I didn't know that she, and I hope, I'm hoping I'm, remember, I'm remembering the name right, but she, uh, she works on these covers too. And I wanted to give her props because I've not been giving her props for the last few years while they've been releasing these and I've been praising the covers. So that's very cool. I hope you're going out and buying this, by the way. Uh, please do. It's how we keep the lights on around here. It's how I, I'm able to do these vlogs. Um, speaking of which, December 9th, Saturday, December 9th at 2 p.m., I am going to be taking part in a Mysterious Galaxy Bookstore, the famous Mysterious Galaxy Bookstore's annual uh, holiday party. And it's going to be really cool, man. I've never, I've never gone before, but they were, they were nice enough to invite me this year. It's going to be me and like a dozen other authors from all different genres, kids' books and mysteries and SFF. Uh, I know Tim Pratt's going to be there, Tony Valdez, a lot of cool authors. And what you can do is you can come out and you just hang out with us, man. There's going to be refreshments and beverages, and it's just going to be a party. It's literally a holiday party at a bookstore with a bunch of authors, and I'm really excited about it. So if you're able to make it out to San Diego uh, on Saturday, December 9th at 2 p.m., I will be at Mysterious Galaxy. All these other amazing authors will be there. There will be food and drink. Come food and drink with us and hang out and buy some books. And uh, tell a friend. I'd appreciate it. So that's very cool. So here's the deal. We have roughly five weeks left in 2017, and I know a lot of you are out there going, thank God, this year is finally going to be over. I almost said the F word there, but I didn't because I'm trying to curse less on the vlog. Um, and around about this time, freelancers especially, freelance creators, freelance writers, designers, artists, uh, we tend to kind of give up. <laughs> we tend to, this is the period where a lot of us give up. And it's like, well, it's, it's five, it's almost December. If I haven't done, if I haven't done it by now, whatever it is, whatever the thing is, I'm not going to do it. I'll, it's, it's going to get pushed to 2018. This is also a time when, uh, the industries that feed freelance creators tend to shut down for the holidays. Everything just shuts down. There's no work and it's, it really sucks. I've had some really tough years as a freelancer around holiday season. So we just tend to despair. We tend to give up. And I think that's bullshit. We've got five, five usable weeks left in the year. I have a lot I still want to accomplish, man. I want to, I still want to finish a novel by the end of this year. I've got uh, a new pitch going out to a publisher I'm very excited about. I'm working on TV pitches with a couple of different people. I'm doing all this stuff. I've got this vlog. I still want to get to 1,000 subscribers by the first <coughs> on uh, my Angry Writer channel here. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice is still shot from last week, but nothing but hot tea. I'm trying to repair it, but I'm working on it. So, yeah, I still have a lot of goals. So here's the deal. In the comments below, I want you to tell me what is your goal for what's left of the year. What do you want to what do you want to accomplish before the first? It can be a big goal, it can be a little goal, uh, it doesn't matter, but just something that you want to accomplish before the first, just to prove to yourself you haven't given up and that you can still get something done and still salvage something from this shipwreck of a year. I want to hear about it. Tell me what your goals are in the comments. And here's the deal: uh, come the first, if you have accomplished the goal that you set out in the comments below. I will send you a personalized ham shackle pig sketch as a reward and as a congratulations. I will customize it just for you like a caricaturist on the, uh, the boardwalk. I'll be happy to do that. So leave your goals in the description, uh, not, not description, in the comments below. Tell me what they are. Come the first. I'll do my first of the year vlog. I want to know if you accomplished them. Tell me in those comments when that comes around if you did. I will take it on the honor system whether you did or not. And if you did, everyone who accomplished the goal they set out, I will personally customize a ham shackle pig sketch and send it out for you as a reward and form of congratulations. Because again, five usable weeks left in the year. I'm not done. You shouldn't be done either. We shouldn't give up. We should keep going for it. Um, also, I'll still be doing my regular uh, sketch giveaway at the end of the week. If you're new, uh, just a tweet or otherwise social media, hashtag team ham shackle, say something nice about the vlog, share the vlog. And at the end of the week, I will randomly select someone who tweeted Team Ham Shackle during the week or otherwise social media, and uh, you will win a, uh, a signed Ham Shackle uh, sketch. And uh, to the people who won the last couple of weeks, I'm getting those out today. Don't worry about it. They're on their way to you. So yeah, all of that. That's what, that's what I want to do. I want us to, I want us to not give up. I want us to defy the convention of freelance industry shutting down during the holiday season. 
Think of something you can still accomplish by the end of the year that will help you either creatively, professionally, or personally, or all three of those things. Tell me what it is in the comments below. Come the first of the year, if you were able to do it, uh, you will win a free customized ham shackle sketch. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to help. It's the best I can do. I'm not a wealthy man, but I can, draw, I can badly draw you a cartoon pig. Just for you, though. So that's pretty cool. Um, I gotta go. I, got to, I have to finish copy edits in the final Cindy Jura book today. I've got to finish that pitch I mentioned earlier. I've got a novel to finish. I've got a million things to do. I've got phone calls to make. Uh, my wife is at the dentist right now getting a permanent crown put in. Uh, after she's done with that, hopefully we can go, I, can go, I can go feed the other side of her mouth some lunch and make her feel better. But yeah, got a whole week ahead of you. Uh, I hope you can recover quickly enough from the holidays to make use of it. Again, let me know what your goal is in the comments. Win a free customized sketch. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you're not going to leave a goal in the comments, then please st still leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you're thinking of the vlog. I am Matt Wallace, and I will see you tomorrow.